Hello and welcome back. Now I've got a quiz here open in my browser. So far everything works well. We can answer questions. We can use our 50-50 hints. We can use lifelines. Our timer works. Our buttons all work. But we have no proper way of ending the game. So at the moment if I just play the quiz all the way to the end. Let's see what happens when I get to when I answer the 15th question. Right now I'm on question 9. So we'll just keep going, whether wrong or right. I'll use up some hints here. A chess board has 64 squares. And this is Thomas Edison. Now what are the first three words of the Bible? The answer is in the beginning. Now notice when I answer the last question, our application crashes and it says cannot read property, answer of undefined because there is no current question at this point. So the goal of this video is to create a function, an end game function to properly handle the end of the game or the end of the quiz. So over in my editor, in the source folder, in the components folder, in the quiz folder, in the play component, who we'll creates the first thing we we'll do is to create an end game function or the end game function. So, end game is going to be an arrow function. Now, the first thing we we'll do is to alert quiz has ended. So, quiz has ended, and then the next thing will be to gather the statistics of the player for this particular quiz. So, const player stats it's going to be an object some of the things we'll be gathering are the score the number of questions number of answer questions and the likes so i'll just destructure our states from here so cons states it's going to be equal to this now for the score we can get the score from the state so if i go up here we see that we're tracking the score so down here, the score will be state.score. We we'll also have number of questions. And that will be states.number of questions. We we'll also take the number of answered questions. That also be state dot number of answered questions. We'll be taking the correct answers. That's the number of correct answers, which we we'll also get from our state. We'll also be taking the number of wrong answers. Answers. This should also come from the state. I always have difficulty spelling answers with the keyboard. Now we'll also be taking the number of 50-50s used by the user and the number of hints the user used. So we'll call this 50-50 used. And we'll be getting that from the number of the total number of 50-50s minus the current one in the state. So that will be 2 minus states dot 50-50. And then we're getting the number of hints used also. So hints used will be 5 minus states dot hints. Now we have our player stats object. Next thing we'll do is to I'll just console the log that player starts out. So player starts. And the last thing we'll do is to redirect to a different page where we'll display these player statistics. For now, this will be will be redirecting to the home page. So I'll call set timeout. We're going to wait for one second before redirecting. So after our callback, the second argument will pass in. 1000 milliseconds and then we'll call this dot props dot history dot push 
to forward slash now that will handle our redirect to the home page now the next thing we'll do is to call our end game function now this function will be called in three places the first place to be called is in our start timer function or in our timer function we want to call the end game function when the user no longer has time that's when the distance is less than zero when his time has elapsed we want to call the end game function so i'll just get rid of this here and call this dot end game and then each other places will be when the user answers the question so in the in the wrong answer function before we display the next question we'll first of all want to check if the next question is undefined so if this dot state dot next question if the next question is undefined we know that these has ended or answered all the questions so if the next question is undefined we'll call this dot end game to end our quiz else if it's not undefined we know that there's still more questions left for the user to answer so we'll just move this uh, display questions call into the else block so right here now we'll be doing the same thing for the correct answer method just like the wrong answer method so i can just copy this code from here and paste it here in the correct answer method so that's that's for the code and let's go over and test it in our browser so i'll reload my page my application okay we have an error hints use five minus okay that's on line three to three Let's quickly fix the error. Three to three. This should be five minus state dot hints. Okay, so let's try. I'll just speed through the quiz. This is one hundred. Um, William Shakespeare. I'll fail some. I'll get some. Use up some hints, Sherlock Holmes. And um, what color is the panda? It's black and white, but I answer wrongly. Just to make it seem a bit real. The chemistry book, which obviously is not the answer. Uh -huh. Now we're on question 13. Thomas Edison. So, before I even go further, let me open up my console so you can see what we have. We are on question 15 now. And if I answer this question, we should see an alert that says quiz has ended and then get redirected to the home page with our player stats. So, I'll answer that. Quiz has ended. Okay. Our player stats has appeared. And we have the... We have been redirected to the home page. Now, I have a one here that says can't perform a React state update on an unmounted component. So, this is happening because we have some code still running in our play component, even when it's not currently mounted or being displayed on our page. So, to fix that, I'll simply first of all, the, the first one we'll fix or we'll have to fix is this clear interval, is this set interval here. So, up here in just below component lead bounce we'll create a call to component wheel on mount so this will this function will always run when or before a component dismounts or gets unmounted so i simply want to clear this interval here which we are using for our timer down here This in, this this dot interval is equal to the call to set interval. So I want to clear that interval before the component on mounts, and that's easy. We simply make a call to clear interval and pass in 
this dot interval now for our for our correct and wrong answer sounds we're also using a timeout so i want to clear those two no we don't have to that's fine so back in our application we'll just quickly play the quiz again I'll just rush it. Now we are on question 15. Let's answer the last question. Okay. Very good. We have our player stats. We've been redirected. There's no one. Now, if we look at the player stats object, we see that the correct answers are 4. We use 0, 50, 50. We use 0 hints. We answered 15 questions. And there are out of 15 questions and we scored four and there were 11 wrong answers so everything is working fine and i hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for staying with me